welcome back to the channel today. I just wanted to pop on here and let you guys know how our home study went and I actually have a ton of testimonies about how God has financially provided for us this week. Oh my gosh, you gotta stick around for this video all the way to the end because there's so many good things happening. You don't wanna miss any of it. And so, hello friends, my name is Winter. If you don't know me, that's who I am. I have four kids from the foster care system that we adopted and we are working on adopting our fifth child from the foster, or from not from the foster care system, from China, I'm so used to saying foster care, but we are going through the international route and not doing the foster care route. Um, fun fact, I'm gonna do a video next about why we're choosing China over the foster care system, so you wanna hit that subscribe button so that you can see that video next. And our home study, guys, like, <laughs> I've gotten ready for home studies before and I, I just, thought it was gonna be different than this, but I just, I didn't know. Um, she really didn't necessarily care what her house looks like. She just checked our smoke detectors, literally, and she had like a 14 second tour. It was like a really quick tour, so we did all the, that stuff. Um, the house needed to be cleaned anyway, so it wasn't a big deal. Uh, what's surprising is there's a lot of questions about my childhood and Chad's childhood, and we had to tell her that Chad's father had just passed away recently, and she was like, oh, we gotta talk about that, and we're like, yeah, sorry, we didn't mention it, we just didn't necessarily think of me mentioning it to you guys, um, just it's kind of like, you know, it's a life change, but it's just a lot to think about, and it's hard to think about every person that you need to tell this to. Um, but she asked us questions about our childhood and had we had to fill out a 102 questionnaire again about um, our parenting style, like how we um, receive love and give love kind of stuff. Very, very deep study of that. And then she asked questions such as um, name five attributes about my mom and dad and then five attributes about Chad's mom and dad and then describe a memory from your childhood that like you remembered that adjective to describe them as. So <laughs> it was very deep and like, I was actually extremely tired that day. And so I hope that it went okay. We luckily have another meeting with her um, on the 23rd of this month. Um, we're gonna travel to go to that one. So that would be good. That was the last time they'll meet in her home. Um, she did meet individually with all of our kids by herself. Honestly, to be completely honest, I felt a little uncomfortable with it, but um, just the whole experience of meeting alone with a social worker, I think really got one of our kids thinking about stuff from their past and had a little bit of a rougher night because of it. Um, just so is another level of that kind of stuff. I, I don't necessarily like leaving my kids in another room with adults like that. That makes me feel a little uncomfortable. But I understand they wanted to ask some questions about us as parents. Like Jenny said, they asked if we were nice or whatever, and she said we were, and of course. And we, she, the social worker told us some things to ask them too. So, and she said they all liked us. So that's good, at least we know our kids like us when we're not around. That was just weird, honestly, just a little weird, but it was good. And so we'll have another vid visit with them and then the, whole home study process will be complete after that visit. So we are actually in this beautiful season where we're in between the dos the home study and the dossier and there's not as much work to be done. Um, we are trying to get a jump start on the dossier so we're trying to collect information as much as possible so that when that does come it will be a shorter um, duration and it won't be as difficult for us to work on. So those are some things that we're doing um, right now. That's a huge update on our China adoption. Okay, I have to tell you these testimonies about how God has like been providing through it for us, through our friends, how our friends have blessed us, however you wanna say it. I feel like it's provision from the Lord, but um, people have been loving us generously. That's another way you can say it. Um, our agency, they are super awesome and they've been super helpful. They actually signed us up for a grant called Open Heart Grant. Um, and we got it. We got it on Tuesday and we got a $1,000 grant. And I think I told you guys about that last time in our home study prep video. I told you guys about that grant and I, I got that on Tuesday and that was super cool. Like super, super awesome. We were so excited about that. Um, and then I had a small speaking engagement this week about foster care, recruiting foster parents out of church and they gave us a $50 check. It doesn't seem as much compared to the thousand, but seriously, if you guys have been through this adoption process before, you know 
that it can be very expensive. Um, very expensive. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's fine. It's like totally worth it though. And then the, then on Friday, we got a check in the mail from someone who doesn't even have like the resources to do this in my mind. Like, I don't know how they did this, but they gave us a check for a thousand dollars as well. And when I opened this card and there was a check in there, I literally cried hysterically because it was so overwhelming to me. I was like, and Chad comes down like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And I'm like, no, it's good news. <laughs> he was like, oh my gosh, something that happened. But it was so sweet and we were so excited like about that. And then um, we have another like friends of ours that are super sweet. They came to our house and like for Chad's birthday and they were loving on him and they gave us hundred and eighty eight dollars so like and they filled off they crossed off some bubbles in our kitchen for us it was super sweet super thoughtful like such a blessing just like pouring down blessings like and before this we've only have had donations of about 200 250 dollars come in so far and we're not like advocating for money like tons of money necessarily you know like we are fully intending on paying for 60 maybe 80% of this adoption if we can, but when it's a $40,000 adoption in one year, you, you just kind of have, if you crunch the numbers, it doesn't, the math isn't logical. Money has to come from somewhere else. Um, so we're not necessarily asking for money, but God is bringing the money in. So it's awesome. So this part is, it gets crazier guys. You're like, oh my gosh, you just got like $2,500 or so. And I'm like, I know I just got that much money, but it gets crazier. So we, my husband, we have this tiny little 32 inch TV and we got it when we got married about nine years ago. And, and I love this TV, it works fine. Um, we had it through a daycare, we had it through all the kids and like a couple of our foster kids colored on it, but it's a fine TV, it works fine. So I was like, we don't really need a TV, new TV anytime soon as long as it's working. That's just my mind set. And he was like, but I really want a smart TV and like they're really cheap right now at Walmart and uh, he was like looking at this specific model of TV, a 43 inch TV um, and it was a pretty decent price and he was like, I really want this TV maybe for his birthday and his birthday was during the home study last Sunday and so I was like, uh, you know, like I'm thinking maybe we have a $50 budget for your birthday this year and not this much because we're trying to save for this adoption so I'm trying not to be like ridiculous like not spend money on people because of the adoption but at the same time like we do need to be saving money for the adoption so like what i just said that's a lot of money so saving thirty thousand dollars in one year is a lot of money anyways all that to say god heard him want the, heard him say he wanted this tv and just that morning it was on saturday morning he he just kind of let it go in his heart he was like you know if, if god if you want me to have this tv you can get it for me or I'm just gonna like let it go kind of like it's not there's more important things in life than TVs is kind of what he was saying so he had this realization and I was like oh great you know <laughs> that's good because there is more important things right and I'm gonna let this person remain nameless but they um came over for Chad's birthday and they're like hey we have a birthday present for you in the car and so he went out to the car and it was the exact same TV he had been looking at, this 43 inch TV that he was looking at at Walmart. And I like freaked out. Like <laughs> this person had no idea that, I mean, they might've had an idea that he wanted a TV like a little bit cause he talked about it a few times to them, but they had no idea that he wanted this specific TV in this specific size and for like because we don't need a big tv for that room because it would dwarf the room anyway it's like it's crazy like the exact specific details and i was just so overwhelmed by like god saw our need and in my mind it was a ridiculous need like for sure a ridiculous need let's be real guys but he cared about it he cared about our need and he he supplied it and he just he was extra it wasn't even a need he just extravagantly blessed us so much and he blessed my husband on his birthday and he had this tremendous birthday it was crazy so my budget for the birthday was fifty dollars 
with the cakes, guys. Like, let me tell you, I had $50 with the cakes is what we were gonna spend on this birthday. So I got the Jello cheesecakes. We made four Jello cheesecakes. I got him this really cool frisbee game and some meat, some jerky and some candy and stuff. Stuff that he'll like, you know, stuff that Chad likes. And I made these like cheesecakes and then we were just gonna have frisbee in the park and have cheesecake and kind of like a fun little thing with our friends. So I just invited some people from church and, and then all of a sudden, like it just got bigger and bigger and bigger. And we invited everybody inside to our house to um, just saying happy birthday to Chad for his birthday. And um, maybe I'll put a video in here right now of it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chad. Happy birthday to you. It's gonna be hard to make a wish. There you go. And as you can see in that video, there's a ton of people in that room. It was so extravagant. I just pulled off a $10 birthday party, like with those cheesecakes and then with the cake. So $50 with present, with present. I'm just letting you know that. And he felt so loved and blessed. I, we counted afterwards and we we're like, I think we had 55 friends at that party. So lots of little kids, lots of people that have kids. So it was just, it was just extra like, for sure, like, <laughs> so those are like my awesome testimonies from this week of what God has been doing in our life. Um, to be honest with you guys, I am exhausted and tired um, from getting home study stuff done and all that completed. So I'm super excited for that to be over with. And then from traveling, we're hitting a garden shop season for work. So I'm working 50 some hours a week, every week, six days a week. Um, so I'm exhausted to be honest with you. So hopefully I'll be able to get videos out here for the rest of May for you guys. But if you know, just, just give me some grace. I'm really tired. Um, I slept a little today. I feel like a whole new woman. Maybe just drink more coffee, I'll feel better. But anyways, that is all that is going on in our life. So like I said, you wanna stick around because I'm gonna put a video out this week about why did we choose China over the foster care system this time around. So you don't wanna miss that video. I've had so many questions about it. So hit that subscribe button and I hope you guys are having the best day ever. And so something just for fun, if you wanna interact with me, if you made it to the end of the video, why don't you put one way God has blessed you in the comments below this week or in the last month. Just put one way that God has extravagantly blessed you. And so we'll see you guys next time. Bye.